Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today I am doing a good old classic what I eat in a day video. I'm filming this video because it is the start of the new year, it is January and I do want to film one of these videos every month and it's just kind of interesting to see how my diet will change throughout the year if I do one of these every month. I do kind of stick to the same things every day you know but you know vary obviously a little bit here and there because you know you can't just eat the same thing every day although pasta I could eat every day. But in this video, I'm just gonna show you what I eat, breakfast, lunch, tea. I call it tea, people call it dinner, whatever, I call it tea. Breakfast, lunch, tea, and snacks, and anything that I tend to eat in the day in general, other than that. I will probably try and hopefully show you the drinks that I have as well because I have been trying to drink a lot more water. I kind of started like a little bit of a fitness thing before December. I'm not gonna say like a fitness journey, but I did start trying to be a lot healthier before December because I just suddenly realized that, you know, the only person that's gonna make changes is me. There's the only person in control of my life is me and I need to gain control of my life. If I wanna be a certain way or if I wanna be healthier, then I'm the only person that can do that and sitting around doing nothing is not going to get you there you have to put the effort in in your life you have to push yourself out of your comfort zone and if you want to eat healthier and if you want to be healthy then on the days where you struggle you can't give in and say well I've been good so I deserve this or I've had a hard day at work so I now deserve this you have to keep pushing yourself if you want to get to where you want to be in terms of eating in terms of diets obviously by all means have a treat here or there and when I say here or there I don't mean every day I don't even mean every week you know some people think I'll have a takeaway a week if you want to lose weight you cannot do that you have to you know put your treats in say a treat at the end of each month so that means you've got the whole month of being good and then you can have your treat at the end of the month and it will feel so good when you do and it will taste so much better also, I've been doing a lot of workouts as well. I'm not going to talk about that too much in this video because I will make a whole video on its own at the end of January. So if you're interested in that, then I will film that video then. But I have been doing a half an hour workout every single day and that is making the most difference. But what you eat and your diet is obviously incredibly important as well. So in this video, I'm just going to show you what I'm eating throughout tomorrow. Tomorrow is a Sunday for me. I am going to do it like vloggy style. So I will just vlog what I'm eating throughout the day and and then that will be it basically. So yeah, I'm not, you know, a dietitian. I'm not um, claiming to know exactly what I'm talking about when it comes to healthy eating. If something I'm eating is not that healthy and you want to tell me about it, then that's fair enough. But I'm not saying I'm eating like 100% perfectly healthy. Like this is just what I eat and this is just what I like to eat and how I'm eating and how it's helping me. You know, I've lost some weight already and I'm toning up and I'm just happy with what I'm doing right now. So I am filming this video just to show you what I eat, okay? So there we go. Um, but yeah, hopefully you enjoyed the video, but let's get into it. Well, this camera is too good quality for this morning. Look at my face. I'm not well. I'm not well. I'm actually not well. Yeah, I'm not well. I don't know why I just said that loads, but I'm gonna open the cupboard and I'm gonna sit you in the cupboard because, oh, it's a bit dark, but what can we do um it's probably because i've got that behind me i'm wearing this little guy um but yeah i'm not feeling good today as you know i've already said um but i've come down to make my breakfast anyway just to make me feel better maybe don't know we'll see right i won't use those because they're out of date by a lot um i'm making jamie some crumpets and i'm also making myself some breakfast obviously because this is a what I eat in a day video but not a what Jamie eats in a day video so you don't need to see all of his food today but I just happen to be making this thing um but for breakfast I'm gonna have strawberries and Greek yogurt I don't eat that much for breakfast because I'm just not that hungry in the morning so I'm not gonna have that much literally just like a couple of spoonfuls of yogurt and a few strawberries is all I have uh, by the way apologies for the angle of this not good. Um, Jamie's already made me a cup of tea this morning. I always have a tea or a coffee in the morning and he made it for me because obviously I'm not feeling good. Um, but I am just getting up and making my breakfast because I, you know, I want to get up and stuff. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna do that. So, down into my refrigerator. Um, in the fridge, I'm gonna get some strawberries out. These are the strawberries that I'm gonna use 
and I'm also going to get my Greek yogurt out. It's low fat Greek yogurt just from Lidl, as you can tell. I need to wash up, um, but I've already washed loads up. But anyway, so yeah, this is all that I'm going to have. So I'm going to grab a bowl from in my cupboard and I'm going to pop in some yogurt. Isn't this just the cutest thing ever? Um, okay, so I'm going to grab this yogurt it's a brand new one i did use another one yesterday and it actually lasts so long like it goes out of date on the first of february and today is like the 5th of january or something um so yeah i'm gonna pop just a couple of spoonfuls of yogurt like literally i don't like to have too much of it because i don't want to feel ill because i'm obviously full and stuff So I literally just pop like that much in. I don't know if you can see that. Um, then I'm gonna get some strawberries and chop them up. So I'm not sure how many strawberries to have. But yeah, I'm just gonna chop my strawberries up on here, like this. And then just pop them into the bowl with the yogurt. I don't have that many strawberries. Okay, so this is my breakfast. This is what I am having for breakfast today. Literally just Greek yogurt and strawberries. Okay, I'm back again and oh look, I look even worse and I'm not even dressed. And it is half past 12 and it's because I'm ill still. Um, I wonder how many times I can say that in this video. Um, but I thought that I wouldn't get dressed today because I'm not feeling too good. Actually, I will get dressed in a bit, just not yet. Um, but I'm going to have some lunch. I thought I'd show you what I'm going to have. And I literally do look terrible. I do apologise. Like, from the first clip to this, you're going to think, what? this is a different person. Okay, so I'm going to have this chunky vegetable soup. Let me see if that will focus. This is just from Lidl. I do all my shopping from Lidl because I love Lidl and it's nice and cheap and just as good as somewhere else sometimes, even better. And Jamie will tell you that because the crumpets from Lidl are better than Warburton's crumpets in his opinion. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna put that into my soup bowl, which is thankfully, oh, it smells nice, um, which is thankfully well cleaned. Sorry if something smashes. So yeah, this is my soup bowl. I've had it for years. I think my mum bought it for me or something because I asked for it, but it just looks so cute. And I always use this now to put soup in. Um, so I literally just put my soup in that. I do have a whole tin of soup because there is only 88 calories in this tin and I don't have anything with it. Like I would just eat this soup on its own and that is it. And that is my lunch. So for like, 88 times 2, so like 176, is that right? Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, for 176 calories for your lunch, that's not bad. So I'm going to just put that in there. By the way, I don't count calories at all. Um, because, you know, who has time for that? Well, I don't anyway. Um, but I do like to be aware of like what's in my food in terms of like everything. So like fat, sugar, salt, everything, because at the end of the day, you don't want to be overloading with things. Um, so yeah, I am just going to have that because I don't get like that hungry. It's kind of more like the later on in the day where I eat a little bit more, but I'll just put this in the microwave. Yeah, but I've noticed that I actually don't need to eat that much food like to get through the day because I did used to eat a lot more food and I've noticed that I can get through the day by just having like little bits here and there and obviously my lunch which is soup and vegetables as long as I'm getting all of my vegetables and some meat and things like that into my diet then that is fine and I haven't done my workout today that I would have normally have done and I set myself a seven day challenge and although I'm ill I am still going to do it I'm going to do it this afternoon um, because I'm starting to feel a little bit better, but I'm just going to push myself this year I've told myself I'm just going to push myself with things and if you know to stop giving excuses for why I'm not doing something or whatever And to just do it. So that's what I'm gonna do um, But anyway, yeah, so I'll show you my soup when it's done and I'll stop rambling Also, I thought I would just mention that I'm gonna try and drink a couple of these bottles of water a day I do know that drinking more water really does help like my skin and everything like that it hasn't been the greatest recently but i think that's because obviously i am ill um 
so yeah a couple of these bottles i just refill it um from the tap so this is my soup all done and finished and i am gonna eat that now is it focused hello right it, oh my god wait it's focused on your face you mum's here hello um, I nearly forgot to mention, but I'm just having a slight afternoon snack. This is a low calorie salted caramel ice cream. Like usually if you had a pot of this, this is from Lidl by the way, if you had a pot of this, it would be like well over a thousand. Like if it was Ben and Jerry's, it'd be like 1,500 for the whole thing. So what I tend to do is I would just have a third of this as my pudding. I don't usually have it in the afternoon. I usually have it in the evening, but today um, I just wanted it in the afternoon. So there we go. Um, instead of the evening um, and that's like a hundred and something calories um, which I think is fine mm, I agree I buy those as well they're yeah really they're good. like good but yeah there yeah. is a lower calorie one that they do as well and I've got that one in the freezer ready for another day yeah you wouldn't know they were low calorie though no they taste really yeah, they good taste, they do taste really good yeah. Yeah. yeah so I'm just having that and a coffee a coffee it's 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 hard for me to show it there we go there it is there it is it's there there it is <laughs> Bye. Bye. Okay, hello. So, I might have accidentally forgotten to show you what I had for tea, which is a complete fail considering that's basically my main meal of the day, but I am gonna talk you through it. I am gonna show you the ingredients, just not necessarily the finished result because I've eaten it already. Oh, and excuse my hair, I did a workout. Um, my final workout of the week, so I'm really happy about that, but I am gonna start a different set of workouts next week um but it just changes it up a little bit um yeah also i did also have a couple out of my celebrations box earlier just thought i would let you know but i had pasta so i had some pasta from this cupboard just simple penne pasta i had that with some meatballs they were literally just tinned meatballs like literally not healthy at all but you know there was only a few anyway um and that is here so i just had a few of those and then i had some lettuce which is kind of random to have with it but you know um i had onion garlic with it i chopped up some pepper some mushrooms i chopped up and a little bit of cheese i'm not sure where that is um but yeah so that was my pasta so I had pasta for tea, I love pasta, it's my favourite ever and I haven't had it in quite a while so yeah as you can probably tell I did also put my makeup on today as well because I think me and Jamie are going to go for a drink or two tonight when he gets back from work at nine. Um, yeah just like one or two drinks and then we'll come back um, so that will be good but I just thought I'd pop a little bit of makeup on for that so we are but i don't think i'll show you that because it's not really what i eat in a day that would be what i eat and drink and i forgot to include all my drinks today so that's great i did get through a whole bottle of this and then like a whole bottle and three quarters and i'm gonna finish this before i go tonight so yeah that is that so that is what i've eaten oh and i did also have two jaffa cakes as well um so yeah i know i said i was gonna be healthy but i've tried to be as healthy as possible but still not amazing um obviously i'm on a journey where i'm just getting used to things i think if i'm being perfect then i would want to cut down a little bit on the sweet foods the ice cream that i had was fine because it is low calorie and i'm happy with that but when it comes to things like jaffa cakes and chocolates they're only there because it's been christmas and jaffa cakes are there because jamie bought them so i think they're the kind of things that i would want to cut down on but i'm happy with how i am at the minute i'm sticking to my workout so i'm really happy but yeah that's what i've eaten today i won't be eating anything else today i will just be having a couple of drinks they might not even be alcoholic like i might just have a diet coke or something like that knowing me that's what i do usually do i'm not gonna lie but anyway thank you and back to my past self who will be ending the video okay so we have now reached the end of this video so that is the end of my what i eat in a day video i am going to film another one next month as well and we can kind of compare the differences between this month maybe it will be just as good maybe it will be a little bit better who knows um but hopefully you enjoyed seeing what i eat throughout the day if you've got any kind of comments or any questions leave them down in the comments and i will reply to you please give this a video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and please remember to subscribe and i will hopefully 
hopefully see you in my next video. Goodbye.